Welcome to Legacy Temple channel. My name is Eric. So what will Legacy Temple talk about today? Someone asked me about who is the most talented football player ever? Well, imagine a player sleeping at a brothel a night before the match and then making a mockery of the defenders and scoring goals at ease the next day. Well, that is what Giuseppe Miazza was all about. Having lost his father at age 7 in the First World War, young Giuseppe found the going tough as a child. His mother sold fruits and wanted her kid to study, but the born genius was glued to football all the time. His obsession for the game was so much that he learned to play football barefoot as his mother hid his shoes. Giuseppe adored AC Milan as a kid but the team rejected him when he was 13 as he was too skinny. Inter welcomed him with open arms, fed him sick to bulk him up and soon pushed him to the first team. He scored 31 goals in his debut season at Serie A, AC Milan lost one big gem. The world's first player who became a worldwide star and the first one to have his own sponsors. He was also the only one on his team who was allowed to smoke. Two-footed, brilliant striker, outrageous passer, exceptional with his head. He had it all dot to give an indication of how talented he was, let's take a look at how he approached his matches at Inter. Luckily I lived near the stadium, and I managed to get there in the rush. My teammates and the coach looked at me disapprovingly. It was only five minutes before the kickoff, so I quickly changed and joined the team on the pitch. I could hear the inter director saying, well deal with him after the match. Well find out what has been up to. Luckily I scored a hat-trick so afterwards no one said a word. Giuseppe Miazza. From Wiki. One more typical Miazza story goes like this. In 1937, it was the day of the game against Juventus in Milan with only an hour before the game and Miazza had still not shown up. The directors became nervous and sent a masseuse and another trainer in a car to find him. They found him in bed, sleeping profoundly and snoring. Without even washing his face, they dragged him up and rushed him to the stadium. While lying down in the back seat Miazza told them of love-filled night and said he felt like a lion. The lion Miazza entered the dressing room and without any squabbling, they quickly gave him his number 9 jersey. He scored two goals that game and was the best on the field. Inter won the game 2-1 and beat Juventus for the Serie A Scudetto by two points. Credits to Wiki. If this doesn't show what a maverick he was, I don't know what will. In BTW, he also won two World Cups in 1934 and 38, the first as the best player and the second as the captain. Thanks for watching. If you satisfied to the video, please subscribe, like, share. Hope to see you guys in next video of Legacy Temple.